Well, I talked about doing a meetup, and I still want to do that, though I can't get up to Seattle. Um, I don't have a car anymore to drive up there. So, if you guys want to do a meetup, we can meet up in Tacoma and drive around and I mean there's some spots in Tacoma. We can go up to Seattle too if you want to. I just would have to ride with somebody. Um, so you guys let me know if you are into that. Second part of this video I wanted to talk about the song School. So School to me it was it's when I think of that song I think of like the opening song that they played a lot. Probably 16 shows that I saw them play out of, I think I saw about 21 or 22 shows. And probably about 16 of them they opened with school. Something like that. It would have been a lot of shows. And I always remember like Watching, watching Kurt, you know, he's like he he's just an an uh, an enigma when he sings and plays guitar. Cause his hair would just be hanging in his face, and you could like see his hair like move when he's when he when he sings, you know. <laughs> and he wouldn't look at his guitar, like he you know. And some of those riffs are not easy to play and sing. I mean, you've got to be left-handed to be able to do that, you know. I know some left-handed musicians, and they're all, like, amazing, you know, that's one thing about left-handed. Um, we should get into that on this video. You crazy left-handers out there, what what is up with your brains, okay? Yeah, and right-handers, you know, you know some left-handers that, like, play multiple instruments, and they're, like, insane songwriters? What is up with that? Is it the left brain, really, or who knows? Anyway, so, yeah, so, um, of course, Kurt, on a lot of songs, he just wouldn't look at, barely look at his guitar, you know? He was just so, like, he, I, he probably practiced on his own a lot, you know? I'm, I'm guessing, you know, that's what I've, I've heard a little bit. I mean, when, when I hung out with him, I barely ever saw him play on his own, you know, like when we were just hanging out in the apartment or something. It would it, he wouldn't pick up the guitar. Like one time, I brought over acoustic guitar, and he grabbed his acoustic, and we just jammed on something for like three minutes. You know, I I kind of sucked. Like I probably wasn't that good, so he he was probably like, oh, this is, this is not going anywhere. You know, <laughs> he didn't say that. He was probably just being like nice, and I I remember that he just kind of like ah. Uh, I don't feel like playing or whatever. So I don't really even consider that like... I mean, I, I guess I, I could consider that jamming with, with Kurt or whatever, but not that it really lasted any longer than just a few minutes, you know. Um, it was me, like, wanting to, like, uh, wanting to, like, work on a song with, with him, but I don't know. It just he wasn't, he wasn't that into it, so... Oh, well. <laughs> All right. So, school. Yeah, school, like, there was an intensity with that song as a, as an opener, like, right when it, it comes in. And, you know, the vocals are just, like, like intense. You're just ready. And you're like, yes! You know, another fucking Nirvana show. You know, it's going through your head. <laughs> yeah. So... Anyway, that's a hard song to play and sing, too. That riff is not the first riff. It's like, I mean, you're keeping your your finger on the string the most time and bending it, but singing perfectly and bending that note on school right is not easy. So, anyway, all right. Talk to you guys later.